Let's see some of the features of this STM32 Cube IDE. In this web page, they have listed some of the key features of this IDE. Let's understand what are the features which are important to us. The very important thing is it supports all the OS platforms. Why? Because it is based on Eclipse. That's why multi OS support. So that's the good news. And the next important thing is it comes with inbuilt cross compilers and debuggers. You need not to download any external compilers or debuggers to integrate that with this IDE. So everything comes in one single bundle. So this IDE actually uses a GNU based C, C++ compiler for ARM embedded processors. It has uh, several other features like importing projects from Atollic, True Studio and System Workbench. And also in this IDE, you find some of the advanced debug features, including SWV, which stands for uh, System Analysis and Real-Time Tracing, which we will be using in this course. And uh, I will be explaining how to use SWV in the later part of the course. And also, of course, you can observe all the CPU core registers, IP registers, and also you can browse various memory locations of the microcontroller uh, while you debug the code. So everything will be covered in this course. And another important feature of this IDE is it has inbuilt support for STM32 Cube MX. Now earlier we used to install separate STM32 Cube MX software and then we used to generate the code and after that we used to import that project into the Eclipse software. But with the release of this IDE that is not required. So it gives inbuilt support for STM32 QMX uh, for peripheral configuration and code generation. But this feature that is integrated STM32 QMX feature will not be used in this course. So you should remember that we will not be using STM32 QMX.